get the mood right. Get the mood right. Get the mood right. You know how it go. Get her on the phone. Get that Mac going. Get a little bit of that Mac going. You know what I mean? You, you, you know she ready for it. You know that she is yearning for it. You got to get your spot ready. First and foremost, make sure your house is clean. Make sure your house is clean. Then you know, oh, you know what? I got to get in the shower. Masculine identity soap. Go ahead and get you some masculine identity soap. Go ahead and shower. Wash that off you. Get out. You want your house smelling good? Gotta come through with this. You got to get you one of these seduction, silverback seduction candles. When I tell you, you will not be disappointed. I'm telling you right now, you get some of this, it's gonna drop them pennies. I don't think you'll know what to do with it though, but you know, with, you know the, the candles will help. The candles will help. <laughs> I'm joking, man. Look here. Silverback Seduction available. Mr1950.com. Go ahead and get you some. Also, go to masculineidentity.com. Grab that soap. Yeah. Why are you paying her rent in her? Because she's like, because she lost her, her job That's and she's behind on the rent. And she, and she stays with and, and he has my son and I'm gonna make sure he's straight. I'm not gonna have my son out on the street. I'm not saying he's gonna be on the street. If she knew how to take care of her y'all's kid, then he wouldn't that, be on the street. But, yeah, but it takes two people to take care of a kid. Sure. I realize that, but this this is like cutting into us. And I'm really not feeling this. You're not feeling me taking care of my no, son basically. No, you're, you're you're taking care of your son. But why don't you bring your son to your house so she could pay her own rent? Because she's the one that has custody of him. And she's the one that's been taking care of him all this time. Well, then because now y'all need to find a way it's to not, split custody or something because it's cutting into us and I don't like it. Wouldn't it cut into us more if he was actually staying with me? Exactly. But what I'm saying is why are you paying her rent and her because she's, like Because she lost her, her job. So let's break this down a little bit. Right, let's break it down a little bit. And there's a couple things in here. Now, at the end, of course, she didn't really have a plan for what she was saying. But what I will say, there's some things in there that, as a man, I, I view as unacceptable, right? You know, first and foremost, there's nothing wrong with being a responsible father. But being a responsible father does not mean you need to be responsible for the mother, you're only responsible for the child and you're only responsible for those who are under your program. So she made a point. Why don't you bring her here? Like, let me tell you something. I don't care if my child ended the relationship of my current woman, whatever, however, whenever I have a responsibility to him and he will be coming with me. I would not care. I wouldn't. You have to choose your responsibility and your purpose over everybody. Now, I don't think this man should be paying this woman's bills at all. You's a sucker for that. And not only you're a sucker, but I have no respect for a man who's not really even getting their kids. He said, oh, well, she, he's with her primarily at the time. When are you getting your kids? When are you taking care of your kids? When are, when are you... Being a father to your kids other than shipping money over. You need to be around your child. You know, at the end of the day, we have responsibilities that's bigger than self. That, that is called responsibilities of someone who can't be responsible for themselves. If you are a man and you're creating these situations for yourself and you're allowing these type of people to come in your life and and make decisions based upon how you're feeling about them. This woman was right in ways. But she was doing it more on an insecure kind of emotional thing. Like, why are you taking care of that woman? Well, she has a, 
a, a, a pretty gripe about. But let, let's let's hear it one more time. And she's behind on the rent, and she, and she stays with, and, and he has my son, and I'm going to make sure he's straight. I'm not going to have my son out on the street. I'm not saying he's going to be on the street. If she knew how to take care of her y'all's kid, then he wouldn't yeah, be on the street. But, yeah, but it takes two people to take care of a kid. Sure. It definitely takes two people, but that doesn't mean that you need to take care of, of all three people. And that's what she's saying. And he and, and he doesn't understand that. And the problem is, is that he, he is so lost with his baby mother that this is something that is, I, I promise you, he's being ruled. He is being ruled by a woman. I promise you that. I realize that, but this, this is like cutting into us. So I don't want to ever hear a woman said that my child is cutting into us. Now, maybe that responsibility or obligation that I'm committed to over here in order to take care of my child is cutting into us respectfully. But my child and their time should never, ever be a burden on the woman. It should be a blessing for that woman to be around that child. Never let a woman dishonor you and your children based upon the time that she wants to share with you. Never, ever choose that shit. Excuse my language. Always be respectful of who you are as a man. Have that woman being respectful for who you are as a father. And make sure you have order in your life for them to understand their position in your life. Never, ever take an ultimatum, an ultimatum from a woman. And never live under another woman's thumb. And always take care of your kids. Always take care of your kids. Now, we're all not going to be perfect fathers, but our, our, our job is to strive to be perfect. I, there, there's one thing I will tell you that we can never get away from. We can never get away from this manhood, and we can never get away from being the leader. And in order for us to lead, we must have a plan. In order for us to have a plan, we must understand what we want out of life and our purpose. The kids are watching you. They're watching you. And if you don't understand that, you will find out sooner than later. This woman may come and go, but your children will always be your children. No matter what. Be responsible. Be the father that you're supposed to be and look here miss lady was wrong in different ways but she was right in some we're not taking care of somebody that's not on your program and never ever allow a woman that's struggling take care of your kid i got them don't even worry about it get, get back on your feet do your thing that's how you do it we're, we're, we're not we're not taking care of you that's not how it works she has not earned that She's not on your program. Look here, everybody. My name is Mr. 1950, the last traditional man on the planet. Man, get at me, man. Get at me on the back end, Mr. 1950.com. Silverbacks, holla. Hey. Silverbacks. <laughs>